Hey everybody, welcome back to the Crutchfield Labs in this uh, ongoing saga with the Ford F-150. We're really trying to define for you, the consumer, where to sp help spend your money and what's going to make the biggest difference. And one of the things that people have always told us is that Dynamat makes a big difference. I believe that as well, but I can't tell you how much of a difference that really makes. So today we're going to try to validate, now that we've created a baseline in the truck, we're going to try to validate what difference Dynamat actually does for us. And the theory is that if we had done Dynamat along the way, yes, we would have perceived probably and gained incremental value by doing that. However, we couldn't tell you at all on where that actually helps and what it actually helps. So the plan for today is we're going to actually get in the vehicle and we're going to drive around in three real world scenario driving conditions. We're going to take the truck on kind of a dirt gravel road. We're going to take the truck at normal speeds around say 25 to 30 miles an hour around town. And then we're going to take the, tr the truck up to highway speeds, probably around 65 miles an hour. All right. So we just took a road trip and what we determined was that Certainly, you know, engine noise, road noise, wind noise, other car noise, all tends to be in this low frequency. And now you probably understand better why, why I wanted my, my slope the way I want it. Um, this was a quick snapshot. We took it around 35 miles an hour. But when we were up to 65, it, it got a little extended out even a little further, all the way up to 1.25K, even 2K at one point. Um, the point is we should be able to kill a lot of this with some Dynamat. We're going to do these pieces at a time. We're going to do the doors first, then we're going to do probably the hood and the floors, and then we're last going to do the uh, headliner and then ult uh, really, really last, I guess, will be the rear doors. But, uh, you know, we think that we're going to be able to see some marked improvement and hopefully get better SPL out of the system. Uh, I expect maybe 1 dB. Uh, I expect that we'll also get better base response. I know we'll get less rattles in the system, and it should even have a little more impact uh, from the from the mid range as well. So, hang on. Certainly doesn't sound like the same truck. No. This is the noisy bridge. Yeehaw! It has literally been a long, bumpy road, long process. I'm kind of tired of taking the seats in and out. But I tell you what, we learned a lot. We learned that basically just having Dynamat in the car killed the road noise and wind noise of standard driving about 9 dB. But when we're on gravel roads or, or bumpy roads, 16 dB of noise reduction to the overall sound system. So that's pretty awesome. What I've also noticed since living with this for a little bit longer is that the response in the mid bass and the mid range has really jumped. I've gotten a lot more impact and a lot more visceral response out of the doors, which means that we're getting more frequencies. How do I know this? Well, when I went to retune the car, I actually had to bring several of the mid range frequencies down because they were now out of my target curve. So that's great news. So we're driving the speaker less hard. It's the, the enclosure or the door itself is actually helping to work a little bit harder. And overall, the sound is great. The best news is I think we're done for a while. So we're going to enjoy the system and then we'll be ready for the next round of gear that we want to throw in and test in the mobile lab. Thanks for joining us on this great experiment. Email us your ideas and we'll try to tackle them in the labs.